never dreamt when I started off in life that I was going to be a second-hand bookshop owner, but that's the way it turned out. Books are kind of friends. You love some and, well, they're like others, but the ones that you love stay with you all your life. One thing that really helped me start Barter Books was the very first job that I got after I got out of college. Went to New York, got a job with a couple who owned a second-hand antiquarian bookshop, and I absolutely loved it. For me, it was a passion as a businessman. It was wonderful to try and make a second-hand bookshop work in these difficult times. And for Mary, it was just a literary heaven. Someone once said to me that they come to the shop so they can find a place to get away from everything. And I love that. We have become a bit of an institution in the, in the town, and to our amazement, one of its largest employers. But you can never tell what the future will bring. One of the funny little side stories of this bookshop was the discovery of the Keep Calm and Carry On poster, which is now spread all over the world. I didn't plan that, it just happened to come across. Again, we saw the potential in it, but uh, you know, who can say what you're going to find around the next corner? When we first opened the bookshop, we were told it was a bad idea. That was back in 1991. And you still get the stories about the end of books and the end of second-hand bookshops. But I'm heartened by the fact that last year, more physical books were printed than digital books, which is a promising sign, even though digital books will find their place. Uh, but certainly we've had no signs that the demand for second-hand books and antiquarian books is diminishing. A book can give people comfort. It can give them another world. You read Dostoevsky. We don't grow up in 19th century Russia, but we feel it. Or Proust, live in Saint-Germain, in Paris, turn of the century. It can give us Charlotte Bronte living up in the moors, and we believe it, and we feel it, and it widens our horizons. Yo-Yo Ma once said that he thought the point of art was to create empathy between people, unlike, say, television, which doesn't require that interaction. So I think that's what books do.